YouTube, I woke up to news that a little bit troubles me. A, a man who enjoys Magic the Gathering was raided by the company who makes Magic the Gathering, Wizards of the Coast. Uh, it's been covered quite a bit. You might have seen it in the past couple days. But essentially, the man is old school MTG. His link is going to be down in the description down below. I highly recommend at least you liking the video or subscribing or just showing a little bit of support. But essentially, from his own words, uh, I really don't think it was stolen. I think it was just a mistake somewhere along the line. Uh, I no longer have the product. The Pinkertons took everything to take back to Watsi. So they now are in possession of all the product. They counted every single card and every single booster pack. I don't even have any of the wrappers or anything like that left. They took the empty boxes, the empty packs, everything. So this man purchased marching machines it's a new set in magic the gathering i think it came out like last friday really cool right like he this guy he just likes opening up packs his channel as i can show right here it's just literally him just opening up packs of cards he, he enjoys doing that he shares it with his community like more power to him you know uh he ended up buying a marching machines aftermath which is a magic the gathering set which hasn't came out yet he says it's his own words somehow there is a mix-up and he received uh march of machines aftermath when he intended to purchase just march of machines collectors boosters or whatever the magic the gathering wizards of the coast the company i guess saw his videos and they sent pinkertons which is essentially like it's like a spy organization or also just kind of like contractor private contractors where you can hire somebody to do something for you it got sent to this dude's house who just opens up magic the gathering packs that that is bizarre in my mind although old school mtg himself does say that the pinkertons didn't think that any of the product was stolen but they did retrieve everything that they were asked to also they gave the guy a number for somebody who directly works with uh, wizard to the coast he contacted them uh wizard of the coast was apologetic and they said well we'll try to uh give you a little bit back of uh, like whatever was taken from you but that is extremely dangerous to send hired men into somebody's property to retrieve something that he actually purchased legitimately. There's been an update from old school MTG about the Pinkertons, and this is what he has to say. Apparently Friday when the Pinkertons showed up here and we weren't home, they decided to take it upon themselves to go knocking door to door on our neighbors' freaking houses and harass our 70 and 80 year old ladies next door asking yeah. information about us saying that uh they had an appointment with us that we were supposed to be here for and we didn't show up and trying to kind of grill them for some information about us yeah not only did the pinkertons show up at his door you know to get the cards because mtg sent them but they also because they weren't there originally knocked on the neighbor's doors and then asked information and lied saying they had an appointment so yeah that's that just makes it even more bizarre because it's not only in, like an invasion of privacy on his part but now they're kind of in like invading his social life too his like neighbors even if he doesn't talk to them as he says and that is just way over the line i mean this whole thing yeah i over agree the line, but that is come on i mean you're harassing my elderly neighbors too you should not be going door to door to my neighbor's houses I telling agree. my business or anybody else's business so that is just a little bit of news i wanted to touch on this subject a little bit uh honestly my opinion is that's bizarre i, I can understand why wizard did it i don't agree with why they did it i understand the logic behind it that they have something that they don't want to be revealed this guy kind of reveals it on his own channel they're going to try to get it back but i don't think they should have did it in that way besides that i just wanted to report on that a little bit and this episode of magic the gathering uh, we're just going to be playing the game i i i, I did want to cover this i'm sorry it was a sensitive topic let's just get into the game oh man it's been a while i haven't been on this game in a fat minute I think, uh, let's just open up some packs. Let's see what we pull. We have three packs of March Machines. There's some really crazy cards in here. Uh, and we also have some other stuff. But, you know, we're going to start with the better ones. We're going to start with the more important packs. Huh? Oh, what did, that card looks so cool. Okay, what's our what's our rare or mythical? Uh, Paul Krius Reborn. Oh, that's the one that's a, a Hydra, right? That's cool. I don't know if how many Hydra cards are in the game, but that's like the Hydra boss. Okay... Um, I don't really recognize all these cards, I'm going to be quite honest. Uh, but let's see what the rare or mythical is. 
<gasps> oh, Gallant the Mavrin. I think this guy, this guy, like, he summons, every time he attacks or something else attacks, he, like, summons a token, right? That's pretty cool. I like him. Okay. Nice to have. Uh, maybe we can pull Mythical? Last pack? Mm. Oh, they, they, why does it, I never saw these cards before. They look so cool. Who choose your control with first strike, have double strike. Are these reprints? I feel like these are reprints because I didn't see this in uh, the March of Machines uh, pack, like card list. Let's see. What's our mythical? It's a rare. Ancient Imperial Sword. Uh, interesting pulls, but let's just see what else we pull. I'm going to go through this rest of this a little bit quickly. I don't really know, honestly, what cards are really good. Uh, let's see what we get. Sin Prodder. Uh, let's see. What's this? Increasing Ambition. Wow. Oh, that's a that's an interesting card. And uh, we got something out of that. A rare? Falcon Wrath Gorger. Huh? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I have a couple of these. Let's just go through this one a little more quickly. Uh, Jord Khalid. Um, that's okay. Whatever. Let's see what else can we pull. There's some really good cards in this one too. A uh, table. I think I wanted that one. Yeah, I genuinely wanted this card because it, it works really well with oil counters. And I like oil counters. So that's cool. That's a good pickup. And let's see what we got here. Oh, I have one of those already, but that, that one, I didn't like it at first, but I think I'm starting to like it a little bit more because it's a very powerful artifact creature. Final pack, Norn Wellspring. Okay, already had one, but now we got another one. The Brothers War. Hopefully we can pull a mythical. I don't think we pulled a single mythical this whole uh, pack opening. What did I say? We pulled a mythical. I already had it. I crafted it. Oh, wait, it's a rare. Oh, it's not a mythical. Never mind, I lied. Squee. Okay, another squee. Not bad. And... Last pack for Demaniary United. Uh, Defeller of Faith. I kind of already have these cards, but I guess we have multiple copies now, so not the worst. Final pack. Any mythicals? I don't think we pulled a single mythical at all. Uh, Obscura Interceptor. Oh, it's just a bounce. So I made an oil counter deck using Miglos as the boss monster. And right now it's at 61 cards because we just drew in tablet a completion. Uh, just pulled it from the pack opening. It's an oil counter card when you have like five or more oil counters on it. You draw a card, for one mana. Pretty cool. Uh, there's only one copy of each card because this is a brawl style deck. The reason I made this deck a brawl is so I don't have to craft multiple copies of each card. And I can actually like try out a lot of the cards in the game and see how they play. So I think it works perfectly with the oil counter thing. I put in some powerful cards that aren't oil counters. Like this guy, he just proliferates. And we're going to be just be playing some brawl games. And I'm going to be showing off the oil counter deck a little bit. Oh, dude. Incubation sack is so good. I'm so glad that's in the opening hand. All right, play forest. Play incubation sack. Let's do this. And summon out this guy. He can be come tapped next turn for land. So what did he do? Enhanced creatures lose all abilities and becomes a 1-1. Uh, we're going to play this. And we're going to summon out uh, that big dude. Yo, I just I mealed nine cards. <laughs> okay, well, let's play out the forest. And he has no cards in his grave. Oh, that guy copies a monster, right? Oh, no, he copied my monster. Ah, that's kind of good. Okay, uh, we're going to play this. It's going to become tapped when it's played. He has no cards in his graveyard, so I can't take advantage of armored uh, scrap yet. And we can give a monster flying, vigilance, death touch, or lifelink. <laughs> I'm going to chain Tomoyo safekeeping just to make sure our monster doesn't uh, die. Gain control of target creature with mana value X or less. If is five or more, create a copy. Dang, he just took my monster. <laughs> no! How could you? At least he, now he has one card in his graveyard, so now we can do this. Uh, take action. Yeah, we'll get it back, I guess. Enter combat. And we will remove an oil counter from this and give it to the dog. Give him flying. No! Blue for me. Okay, he left. Well, I mean, he didn't really play and he didn't really play anything. So maybe he had a bad hand. Opponent goes first. Uh I think we just keep this hand. No. Actually this hand kind of sucks. Free mulligan. Boom. Let's see what we get. Dust touch and toxic one. Oh, we're playing against toxic. Okay, cool. Well, we are gonna get a poison counter because I have no way to defend myself. Oh, that's a new shell dread, isn't it? Ah, cool. If I remember correctly, most of the uh, toxic poison counter cards require me to have at least three counters. So he gets a look at my hand, discard something from it. Uh, okay. Wait, and then he destroys my monster too? What the heck? Wow, that's a... He did a lot there. 
We're at three counters. No! Wait, he's so strong now. Okay, well, let's see what we can do. Summon out Miglos Maze Crusher. Oh, wow! He has the regular Shell Dread. Okay. When a monster is bigger than it is summoned, we'll do this. And do this. It's not a lot of damage, but I mean, one damage is one damage. So let's hit that. Banish this. Each opponent sacrifices a creature. Enter battle. Attack. Nice, thank you. Uh, we can make our dude really, really big now, which I kind of like. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may mill three cards. Then if there are 20 or more cards in your graveyard, you may exile the cards without paying its cost. Let's do this. Let's do that. I'll take the damage. Bam, bam. And we're going to be at five life. Play this out. Let's do this. Summon up this. Enter combat. I'll take action. Yes, sir. We're going to do this. And we will give him a lifelink. I'm a little confused. Why Why couldn't I activate that effect? I don't know. It might, I might have been too late to do it, but it, it's, it, it is what it is. I wanted to give him Vigilance, but it is what it is. A free mulligan. Keep. Hello. Let's do this. And uh, this. Exile if has three or... Whoa, that is so good. That is pretty powerful. Not in the best situation, honestly. I could summon this girl. Uh, I'll just summon the maze. The maze crusher. First strike, death touch. When it deals combat damage to a player, choose one. Draw a card. Let's do this. Boom. And this. Let's do this. Boom, boom. I'll destroy this one first. Oh, it doesn't work like that? Because it has first strike? Oh, well, I didn't know that. That's sad. Uh, that's really demotivating. Um, I'm at a huge disadvantage now. Yeah, I don't I don't really know what to do anymore. Just, I guess, summon him out again. We, I think we just lose. Let's just concede. I... First strike and death touch works like that? So for I get it, I get it that like when you battle something with first strike, they attack first, right? But it also procs the death touch? That's a little insane. I didn't know it worked like that. Okay, okay, okay. Play mountain, summon this dude, and just go for attack. Uh do this. Now we should play a two. I want to play a tablet so I can start generating oil counters. What is his boss? Falco Spada Pact Weaver. We're gonna do this right away. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, I will play this. And we will summon uh, Jewel Thief. Because it gets us a treasure token. Yo, I, there's no monsters in any graveyard. I'm going to attack. If he crashes, he crashes. Now we can play his boss. Okay. So now he can play cards off the top of his deck, right? Pretty powerful. Oh, this guy kind of sucks. <laughs> he kind of sucks. Um, we'll summon out Maze Crusher. Celestial Regulator. Um, you can tap a monster. I don't have a, a flying monster to counter that, so that attack goes through. Ninjutsu! He's summoning Kappa Tech Wrecker. Whenever this deals combat damage to a player, you may remove death touch counter from it. Uh, when you do, exile. Whoa! Kappa, that's so strong! He's gonna destroy my tablet! No! I got four counters, I was so close! Yeah, get rid of tablet. I keep that, I want the incubator sack. Damn it. Whatever. And he's going to play it again and tap a monster again, right? And this sucks. <laughs> this sucks. Uh, my cards don't really do much. I'm not going to lie. Oh, sweet. Okay, here we go. Going to run out this. Going to do this. Uh, I don't think Squeeze bad here. Attack with this. Attack with this. Uh, attack with this guy as well. Attack with this as well. Target creature gets protection from colorless. Uh, and from color of your choice until the end of the turn and put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. That is so much damage. Okay. It's it's not looking the best, but at the same time, it's not looking the worst. Oh, that's so good. Oh, no. Not the turtle. Not again. Damn it. That's such a good card. Uh, 
Reconfigure. Okay. What is? Why to her? I don't know. I don't know why he did that, but I guess. Move your commander. Yeah. Back to my hand. Kind of have a couple options here. I'm gonna go Mace Crusher. We're gonna go this. Pump that. Uh, yep. We got summon two. Uh, put one counter on Maze, dude. We'll do this. Do this. Let's try that. I, my cards suck. Dude, this, this churning reservoir, it's generating tokens, but... Like, what's the point? I can't... I can't... I can't stop him. I don't know what to do. I kind of want four now. I think I want it on him. Oh, no. He just gets tapped. Oh, that was a mistake. Damn, that sucks. I, I misplayed there, but... Does it cost me the game? Probably. I probably lose from that. Okay. Pass the blockers. I don't think I can do anything. No, you got it. Juju. Yeah. I mean, I wanted to try a fun deck. Fun doesn't equal good. Um, I really, I was excited to try oil counters because it reminded me of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Kind of like a once per turn effects, you know? It's like, oh, you want to do something? Remove an oil counter, it does something, and you tap it. I was excited. I thought it might be kind of decent. Uh, at least the version I built was just straight garbage. It was really bad. Uh, I didn't have any outs to flying. I think at best, all I was generating was a 1-1 one, one Phyrexian Goblin creature for two mana. Uh-huh. And then I was drawing, uh, I guess, an extra card every turn, which is not bad. That was actually kind of decent. But yeah, now this deck is, um, it's not it. It's not, it's not very good. But I think that's all I'm going to do for this episode. A uh, little disappointed that the deck kind of sucks. I mean, what did I expect? I went into an archetype thinking that the archetype would be fun and good. Not all cards are treated equally. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, maybe I'll catch you next time. Later.